Fusion 360 and Rhino are both powerful software that come with many features and functionality that are used in many industries. So what are the differences between them and which one is better for you based on the tools and features they offer? Fusion 360 is a 2D and 3D CAD software developed by Autodesk that was officially launched as a commercial product in 2013. This is why many experts call it a young software. The software has found its balance between engineering and 3D design. It is a user-friendly and versatile software that enables integration of design processes from design and simulation to manufacturing. It is a new and simplified approach to parametric modeling, which Autodesk renews with each new release. Fusion 360 meets the expectations of engineers and designers in 3D computer-aided design. On the other hand, Rhino, also commonly known as Rhino 3D, is a 3D design software developed by a company founded in 1980. It allows you to model a wide variety of shapes without limiting your creativity. This computer-aided design software can also be used for 2D drawing, but it is not the main purpose of its development. Whether it be rapid prototyping or production, there are many advantages offered by this program. What are Fusion 360 and Rhino used for? Fusion 360 is used to create 2D and 3D designs. It allows you to work using different types of modeling, such as parametric modeling, surface modeling, and polygonal modeling. To take advantage of the possibilities offered by this technology, you need to combine the tools from the three modes to reach the best results. Many tools for manufacturing are integrated into Fusion, allowing for planning, generating of tools paths, assembly management, and simulations. The special thing about Fusion 360 is that it utilizes cloud technology in a way that many CAD programs are not capable of. On the other hand, Rhino is a CAD software with multiple modeling tools which allow you to model a wide variety of shapes without locking you up or limiting your creativity. It can create, edit, analyze, document, render, animate, and translate NURB curves, surfaces, and solids with no limits on complexity. Rhino also supports polygonal meshes and point clouds. Its accuracy and flexibility makes it possible for students to explore and build their ideas without having to spend much time learning computer-aided design. Modeling and Design Differences Fusion 360 can be used for different types of modeling, from technical details to organic surfaces. First, parametric modeling, which is based on 2D sketches forming a closed network of curves or profile. The relationship between sketch elements and dimensions are defined in the sketch and reflect the design intent. The second is surface modeling. It contains surface creation tools like extrusion, sweep, and so on that allow surface creation based on sketch profiles. In this mode, a closed solid can be decomposed into constituent surfaces. The third is polygonal modeling, which allows for the creation of organic shapes in the software sculpt space, in addition to the creation of T-splines from primitives such as boxes, cylinders, and so on. Also creation from profiles by extrusion, sweeping, and the possibilities of transforming a surface created from a model environment or patch into a T-spline to edit the shape. Long story short, Fusion 360 comes with many tools that should always be combined to make the process of designing products easier and give better results. On the other hand, Rhino also uses curves modeling techniques with non-uniform rational beast splines. This technique involves performing modeling by working on curves rather than reconnecting polygons and vertices. You can therefore create your surfaces in three dimensions by making changes on curves. This type of modeling allows us to optimize the number of facets making up the surface on the object. And it is one of the most precise techniques out there. Rhino provides access to a wide range of tools to develop your projects, whatever your field is. You will find all the basic tools, such as transforming tools and other tools to edit points, curves, and surfaces. Your 2D designs can also benefit from the strength of Rhino, thanks to the features of Make 2D. You can indeed develop technical drawings and illustrations, thus communicating ideas more easily. Animation and Simulation Fusion 360 supports keyframe animation, so you can make all kinds of animations for your assemblies, like engines, gearbox, and more. Using the Transform tool, you can move your components to animate them in a timeline. Just keep in mind that the organization of your components matter, and complex animations should probably be done in another tool specialized for animation. In general, Fusion 360's animation features are better suited for simple to mid-complex animation visualization. 
On the other hand, Rhino provides very limited tools for creating animations of your models. These animation tools move only the camera and the sun, and as opposed to Fusion 360, it includes no tools for animating objects. And when rendering an animation, you will have to render the frames one by one to create a series of still images. These still images can be combined into an animation file, and it does not include tools for compiling the frames into animation files. But there are many other products that specialize in this process. Rendering tools and features. Both Fusion 360 and Rhino offer their users a rendering option to create renders that can give a realistic view of the product and a clearer vision of the conceptual design. In Fusion 360, you just have to head over to the model or patch icon and hover over it and get a layout that lets you select render. In the rendering workspace, you will see the background and model change a little bit as you optimize the visualization. You will also notice that the toolbar has tools to control materials, environments, and the quality of rendering. Fusion 360 also gives you the right to choose the type of rendering process. It can be quick, normal, or advanced. Rendering time can vary depending on the assembly size, reflectivity, transparency of parts, and a few other variables. On the other hand, Rhino is also capable of helping you to create high quality renders. And it is one of the few CAD software that has real time rendering. This will help you enhance your presentations and help you work faster as you edit your materials and lights so you can see the final product as it is changing in front of you in the viewport. The software lets you create and edit your materials with options such as transparency, reflection, refraction, bump, normals, and more. The process of rendering scenes consists of three basic steps, adding lights, adding materials, and finally rendering. And to improve the quality of the renders, repeat the processes until you get a better render. Industries that use them. Fusion 360 is used by many fields and in many industries, such as electronic industries, furniture, mechanical design, also by aerospace companies. Rhino is primarily used in architecture, industrial design, jewelry, and design of fashion accessories. It is also used a lot by automobile designers, in addition to artisans because of the precision and possibilities of creating free forms. The learning curve. For people who do have some experience with using CAD software, Fusion 360 and Rhino will not be complicated, but there are still some differences in the usability of the two products. Fusion 360 is not so difficult. It has a complete suite of 3D modeling tools, making it easy to create solid models. Moreover, this software is flexible, allowing you to create great organic geometry and surfaces. Rhino 3D is relatively easy to pick up but you will still need some experience and practice to fully benefit from it. It provides many functionality that may help its users to get better results as well. Pricing and licensing. In Fusion 360, if you are a hobbyist, a student, or an educator, you can qualify for a free license, in which case you can obtain a three-year license, and you can also get a free license if you are engaged in a hobby or nonprofit business and your revenue does not surpass $100,000 annually or using it for personal projects. If you do not fit any of these cases above, you can still have it with an annual subscription of $495 per year. When it comes to Rhino, the 6 version starts at $995 per user and they do not offer a free version. Rhino 6 also does not offer a free trial. However, the previous versions, for example, Rhino 5, offers a free trial version that will get you the full software for 90 days. Both Rhino and Fusion are available for both Mac and Windows. Final thoughts. Some CAD tools can be more needed in some fields compared to the others. That's why you should know that you cannot decide which one is better unless you understand and analyze various options available in both software and then find out your business needs, budgets, and skill level, which play an important role in deciding which one is better for you.